Misting outside. I don't know if you can like see that. Can you? No, you can't. Anyways. Okay, so I just did my hair. My mom did these braids and then there's, I don't know if you can see them. I honestly, these braids. And then I slicked it back into a ponytail and then I braided it. Um, I know that it makes me look like I have a gargantuan forehead, but it's really not about looking cute. It's about getting a job done. So I'll be back when I get dressed. It's actually freezing here anyways okay so i know that it looks like i just did nothing but i have on my practice jersey and then my white shorts and everything and my socks now i have to um put my jerseys in here i don't know why i do that i've always done it i think i mean like to not get it wet and everything Oh, because my soccer bag literally smells like Satan's butthole. <laughs> and so I roll my jerseys up and put them in a plastic bag so that they don't stink or get wet and stuff like that. So I have my black jersey, black shorts, black socks. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll it. I'm just going to roll it. So pretty much I fold this half in and then I fold that half in pretty tight to be honest and then I roll that from the top to the bottom but they have no way of holding it so I'll show you it after so this is it after I literally like how you roll a towel or something like that that's all I did um I'm gonna put it in here then I zip it halfway with like a little bit out I brush all of the air out I'm having a muscle spasm as well and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my white it's just my jersey but and then I'll be back okay so I moved you on top of the bed frame because you really can't see anything um so now I'm gonna pack my bag. I'm just gonna make sure that I have everything that I need and I take out stuff that I don't need. So like now since now that I'm not gonna be like on an airplane and stuff I can move everything where I like it to be. So deodorant biofreeze goes in the little cleat pocket. Yeah. Don't ask me why, it just does. Um, up here, yeah, all that stays the same. Um, pretty bad. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. So the black uniform, since we're wearing white, is going to go at the very bottom. I don't need it. Um, then it's going to go the white jersey. Because I'm going to put my cleats and shin guards on before that. So I'm going to put the cleats that I don't think I'm going to wear. I'm going to put them in there. And then I'm going to put the cleats that I think I'm going to wear. I'm going to put them on top of that. And in my shin guard bag. Which I got new shin guards and they're black, which is weird. So I've never had black shin guards before. Okay. Open the ball bag, the ball part up. Slide her in. And so yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna make my water. We don't have to leave till one. And it's 12.30. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go take a POOP. Woman up! So we just beat uh, KC Athletics winning national chance Woo! two to one. Uh, got an awful calf cramp and I want to die. <laughs> What's up? Um, we just got back from like eating. We went to the store to get some like to get some granola bars. Um, we had Korean barbecue and I've never had it before and I thought it was pretty good. I will say it, it was pretty good. I ate all of it. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but oh, the game, literally the whole point why I'm here. Okay, so this is a recap of the game. We won two to one <laughs> against KC Athletics and KC Athletics is like, they won nationals last year. Like they definitely, we, it was not an easy win whatsoever. Um, they played really well, but the refs. Um, so their goal was scored. It was a PK. It was not on me. Everyone on my team thinks it was on me. I didn't touch the girl that got. It, it wasn't me. In the story, it wasn't me. Anyways, moving on. It doesn't. You know, it doesn't matter who it was on. It happened, whatever. And let's just say a few people didn't agree that it was a PK because in my mind, I don't think it was a PK. Um, I think the ref kind of knew it wasn't a PK, but our, I don't even, honestly, I don't even know what our parents were doing. I didn't hear them being rowdy, but the, apparently the ref thought he, we were being rowdy. We kind of side them when like the refs were just not on our side. Anyways, so, Anyway, back to the point. So we scored kind of like midway through the second half. So halftime is 0 0. We're, we get together, we talk about everything, we, we fix it, we score. And um, it was a good goal. Crossed by L. Ryan, uh, finished by Carol Croon. <laughs> Licked those people up, they're good. Um, and so after that, for some reason, we kind of got like unsettled like, holy crap, we're winning. We just need to kick the ball and get as far away from us as uh, our goal as we can. And so we were just really, really frazzled, like, as a team, like, all around. Like, it wasn't just one person. And then stuff went down. And they, our girls, they both hit the ball at the same time. And then the other girl flopped. This is what it, I perceived it to be. Um, and the ref called foul. And it took me a lot to bite my tongue because I did not agree whatsoever. But at the end of the day, he's the ref not me it's not my call so they score a pk our keeper went the wrong way which it's a pk <laughs> that's not an easy thing to to like stop you know um and it's a very unfortunate situation for the goalkeepers because all you want to do is help your keeper especially as a center back and you can't it's a pk can't even go into the box so they score and there's like five minutes left so they move five people into the midfield and they move two people up top. That means that they're playing three in the back and one in the goal, five people in the midfield and two people up top. So that honestly, it didn't really throw us off as much as I thought it was going to. Um, it just took a lot of communication to kind of like navigate the storm. But I think our midfield and our defense and even our forwards, they helped 
helped out too. I think that we really handled it very well. Uh, honestly, we stayed composed. It's two minutes. And so our team were like, it's go time. Like it's either now or never. I kind of like block a, block a ball. And at this point, there's about a minute left. I like stick my foot out and I block the ball. I can feel my calves starting to lock up. And I was like, now's not the time, go away. And I get up and I point my toe because I'm, I'm like getting up and I'm running at the same time and my left calf, holy crap, it clenched so hard. And so like, I'm like trying to get up. I got people screaming at me, get up, get up, which is understandable. Minute left in the game, it's 1-1, one, one. we're trying to score. Um, so are they. And so I, I'm like, I can't, I cannot get up. And everyone's kind of, not everyone, but a few people are like yelling at the ref like, stop, 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 a player down, player down. And I was like, no, don't stop, keep playing keep playing and so uh aurora scored with like a minute left i'm telling you this is like some stuff out of the movies so my, aurora scores i'm like crying on the ground because i like my calf is locked up and i'm like go aurora good job and uh our director was at our game and he like came out like and my coach came out and like stretched me out and they were like okay we're gonna sub you at this time i didn't know how much like time was really left so i was like no i'll just go off and then i'll go back on i'm fine i'm fine there and greg was like no you are going out and i was like okay um so i went out and then they blew the whistle for like their kickoff and then the game was over uh, i'd like to say that is like high school state champion football movie game type stuff it was very much a lot of emotions but all i can say is that i'm very proud of how we played as a team as a unit we very much played with each other and for each other and there was no one trying to like outshine anyone and we all worked our butts off from our keepers to our nines you know um so yeah it's a good start to to nationals um to, we play a team from la on friday it's currently wednesday it's wednesday so we have off day tomorrow and then we play some team from LA and then yeah so thank you for watching if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe follow along on my soccer journey and uh I'll see you next time Toodles.